I didn't see my actual body when I looked in the mirror. All I saw was my thighs are big, my arms are big, I've got a tummy, I've got this, I've got that. I didn't just see me, I didn't know who I was. Hello darlings, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you've never been here before. My name is Emma Tamsin Hill, thank you for joining me today. And I need to start off by saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I left you. It's been a few weeks, maybe even a month or so. I'm not even sure how long it's been, but I'm sorry. I've been thinking about you a lot. I've been thinking I need to make a video for YouTube. I need to make a YouTube video. I need to make a YouTube video. I've just been so busy with work. I'm planning for Christmas for all body, all sorts of things that I've been doing. So I wanna say I'm sorry that I haven't recorded in a while, but here I am today. I've recorded two videos today. <laughs> Today, I wanted to do a fun little video for you all that I feel like is gonna be funny, but is also gonna be, you know, a look back on my journey to self-love and confidence and to where I am today. So today, we're gonna be reacting to old photos of myself. Well, you're not gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be reacting to old pictures of myself. I'm, even, I'm going back to the archives. I've even got some baby pictures. Baby pictures and then also into my teenage years coming up to where we are now. So, I actually had to go through this before and find this. I have this shoe box. It's a Fenty shoe box. Fancy pictures. It's so full of pictures. So I've picked out a few of my like younger, younger pictures and then we're gonna get onto like the older teenage pictures on my phone. I thought it'd be cute to show you where I came from and who I was as a child. Um, yeah, and we're gonna go through a journey today. Like I said, it's gonna be funny, but it's also hopefully I can like give you guys some wisdom and teach you like what I would have told myself when I was younger. So let's start off. This is baby Emma. This little girl right here is me. That's my dad, I know. My dad looks like Pablo Escobar, you don't need to tell me. And this is my brother, the beautiful child. He was always the beautiful child. So that's me as a baby. Like, how sweet is that? I had little blonde curls, happy baby, chubby happy baby. I feel like there's a theme for these pictures because my mouth is always wide open. This is Halloween, this is me, I don't even know where this was, but my gob is wide open. What? Nothing has changed. I'm still loud and annoying. This picture kills me every time because who did I think I was? Like, I'm wearing dungarees and a denim hat to the side, you know, because I had swag. I had swag back in 1998. This is me on the first day of school with my pigtails. I used to wear pigtails. So cute. This is me when I was, I don't even know how old I was. I look like I'm about maybe eight, <laughs> maybe eight or nine. And I, you know when you physically remember someone taking a picture of you, I thought I was the baddest bitch going. I had my little bikini on. <laughs> I am a little, I'm, this is probably the last time I ever wore a bikini, I'm not gonna lie. Um, like before, you know, I gained confidence as I got older, but I thought I was so bad. Like, I remember the picture being taken and, and my mom's like pose and I was like, like, look at me. I really thought I was that bitch. And you know what, I was that bitch. But it's just the fact that I'm so serious, no smile, dead serious face, and my brother is mimicking me and taking the piss out of me. This is me, World Book Day. World Book Day, we, we have a little Bo Peep. The outfit's questionable, but my mum made this outfit herself. For me, it's the hat, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's the hat for me, it's the little stick with the tiny sheep on it for me. I was little Bo Peep. And finally, we have this picture. Again, at the beach, in my bikini, thinking I'm the baddest bitch. Enjoying myself, playing. <laughs> it's the rolls for me. It's the rolls! I was always a chunky little, chunky little baby. Chunky little girl, but I was happy. Look how cute. I'm cute. How old was I? This is probably like, 2009, maybe, 2008 or 2009. Um, I was in New York, I'm just gonna cover up everyone else. I was in New York on a school trip and I was wearing an Abercrombie, look at me, I was wearing an Abercrombie and Fitch t-shirt with a, um, a fucking, 
flannel shirt but if you can see this white t-shirt underneath right I did not wear any clothing I must have been about how old was I here this was like year eight so I was probably I was probably like 13 or 14 and at that age I was already I would wear a vest under every single thing that I wore a long vest because I was insecure about my stomach and yeah, like I would wear a long vest under every single top because I was really insecure and I didn't like my body. This is me on holiday. I think I was about 15, maybe 15 or 16, probably 15. Um, and as you can see, I'm wearing shorts. This was the first time I had ever worn shorts like in my teenage life. I was so terrified about wearing shorts. I was in Spain in this picture, by the way. So it was boiling hot and I was still terrified to wear shorts. Even though it was hot, I was still like, no, I'm just gonna wear pants because like I don't like my body. It's crazy. I don't want this video to be like, it's depressing. <laughs> I think I was probably 15, 15 or 16 in this picture. Um, and this was on, there's a thing called field day where I live. So it's like a day where, it's like a fate, like a fair kind of thing. Where I live, it's like a big thing, like everyone goes. Um, and I was wearing a skirt, as you can see. Like, I look at this now and I think, oh, I look so cute. And I'm smiling in the picture and everything. But I was so insecure that day. I was terrified of wearing this skirt. So I'm literally just wearing a t-shirt. And I wasted like skater skirt. I'm going to more skater skirts. And the funniest part about this picture is... Everyone used to wear these skater skirts from Topshop um, and I couldn't fit into them because they didn't do my size. They only did up to a 16. Um, I was probably like a size 18 in, in this picture. So I went to H&M and I saw this skirt and it was like high-waisted skater skirt, but it was really long. So I cut it so it was like a short skirt like this so I could wear it and wear the same thing that everyone else was wearing. <sighs> wow. That's why I'm so lucky that now, like, I can create my brand, like, all body, so everyone feels included. Because when I was younger, just the feeling like you're included and part of the same thing as your friends is so important. And feeling like, you know, you're all the same is so important. I'm actually smiling in this picture, but I remember feeling so insecure all day because I was wearing a skirt and I had my legs out and I was scared because I didn't like my body. And I look at myself there and I think, wow, that like, I was so much smaller than I am now. And I literally still thought I was huge. I thought I was so fat. I thought I wasn't like attractive. Do you ever just wish you could go back to yourself and just like shake yourself and be like, babe, not everything is about, you know, your body and how you look. That is not your determining factor of how worthy or beautiful you are. It's sad. And then now we're gonna go into some phone pics. Oh my days. So I've just gone onto um, Facebook, the source of all gems. Here, I'm gonna put them on the screen so you can see. Here we have me, um, I was at a bowling alley actually. This was before them couple pictures I just showed then, so I think I was about 12 here. If you can see the blue nail polish and the giant ring, the bracelets, the necklace, the hair flower, I was into my accessories. You all know I love to accessorize. I was into it back then. And as you can see on my face, can you see on my cheek, there's a little dot. I used to draw beauty marks on myself. We have the piece de resistance. This is a beautiful piece of art made on Pixo back in the day. Um, it's me at school with my bum fringe. Remember everyone had this fringe and it used to swoop from literally here across your face. Huh. With a broken umbrella, with the words, that's not good, kiss kiss. I think they're referring to the broken umbrella. It's not good because you know, I was wet um, and it was rainy at school. But the little star with the smiley face inside really, mm, it's solidifying. And the caption on this picture, my friend uploaded this picture. The caption is, broken umbrella. To me, this is art. 5th of November, 2009. What day is it today? Is it the 5th of, no it's the 4th of November today. This was 11 years ago. Again with my fringe, the fringe that, I was forcing this fringe, you know. I was forcing it. It was being forced, this fringe. And it was swooping, swoopy doop. I wanted to go swoop, but it went go whoop. And I have 
if you can see the hat on my head, the hat on my head was one of those panda beanies from River Island. Do you remember those? And again, the beauty mark. <laughs> we have me again at school. I thought my hair looked so good this day. I thought my hair looked so good this day. I think I must have just got it done because it was kind of perfectly straight. I had braces back then. So I wore braces for about two years from when I was like 12 to when I was 14. And I used to like have them alternating colors. So they'd be like, okay, what colors do you want today? And I'd be like pink and green. I'd get like pink, green, or like purple and white, or like black and white. Like I would just do the maddest with my brace designs. Not gonna lie. It was what I look forward to. I've always been extra. I've always been extra from even when I was a teenager. Like I was doing the most. I wasn't just like, oh, just give me clear. Like I was like bright pink. I want bright green and bright pink braces. Like, mm. and you know what? I think I was like really happy at this age. I'm not gonna lie. Like I feel like I had a good teenage years. I'm not, even with my insecurities, I feel like I had a good teenage years. And I feel like at this time, I feel like you can see it in my face. Like I was happy. Like I had my friends, I was happy. Like, I don't feel like the insecurities had really hit at this point yet. Like, they were there under the surface. But, you know, as you get more into your teenage years, like, you you know, you feel more uneasy with your body, I think. And, like, certain things. Like, it's a growing up thing. But I feel like around this age, like, 12, 13, even though there was things that I would do, like, wear the long vest top and everything like that, my body wasn't, like, I don't feel like it was the be-all and end-all of my life. Oh my days, this is embarrassing, honestly. Is I not so embarrassed? Here is another example, you know, of me wearing the long vest tops under every single thing that I owned. Do you remember when everyone had that ring as well? That cross ring, wow. So around like, you know, 16, when we started drinking, when we started getting a bit rowdy. There's so many embarrassing pictures, too many to pick from. How am I gonna pick just one? Why did we think like these selfies were good? I don't know. Why did I think, you know what, my hair looks nice though, but come on. This is a pic of me thinking I was really edgy and cool because I was wearing a beanie. And then like this also when I started like going out to parties and stuff like that when I was like 16, 17, like 17-ish. Uh, and yeah, like this is when you can like, it's so funny. I look at myself now in these pictures and I remember the way I feel about myself in those pictures and you know, what I thought about my body and what I thought about myself in those pictures. And I literally look at them now and I think, oh, you look beautiful. But back then, like for instance, this picture with the red top, it was someone's like 18th birthday, I think. And I always just used to be so insecure, like so scared to wear a skirt. Like I never got my legs out ever, even in summer. And that's something that carried on with me even through to like, um, to college um, and uni and yeah. It's funny because I think you can see the progression because when I show you some uni pictures as well, it's really funny because even back then, I was, I still didn't like my body, I was insecure, but I would still wear my legs out. Cause when I got to uni, I wouldn't wear my legs out at all. And this is me out on the town wearing a little kimono, looking sweaty in the club. <laughs> so this was on, this picture with the little um, turtleneck dress was on my 18th birthday. And like, I look so damn fucking good but I just didn't think I looked good. Like I was so, I'd be so scared to wear like skin tight dresses and stuff like that. I think though that's the good thing about me. Like I always push myself to do it, even though I didn't, you know, feel confident in it. I think the main thing was that I wanted to fit in with my friends and all my friends would wear stuff like this. So I think it's, it was good that I had people around me that were like, look, you know, like you can wear this too. And now we're getting to uni. And the eyebrows at uni, in the first year, very questionable. Very, very questionable. My eyebrows were so close together. They were so orange. I don't know why they were so orange because I used to use Benefit Browsings, like the powder, and I used to get the little brush that came with the kit and I would just go like, 
That was the front of my eyebrow. Why did I do that? But you know, this when I started experimenting more with my makeup. Like I was so into it. Like oh, I used to wear Estee Lauder double wear, but it used to cling to. I used to have dry patches on my skin because I didn't look after my skin. I was so dry. And I used to get dry patches and the Estee Lauder would like stick to the dry patches. It was horrendous. It was so bad. But the thing I really want to show is these pictures. I think I was 18. This was probably my, this is my second year of uni. So this was 2015. This was late 2015. So only five years ago. And right here, I think I was a size 16 or a size, yeah, I think I was about size 16, size 18. I had just gone on to, well, I hadn't just, I've been on meal replacements for like a couple months, a good couple months. I have been doing meal replacements because I decided Okay, I want to lose weight. I want to, um, I want to lose weight and I want to be thin because that will make me happy. That will make me feel good about myself. That will fix my relationship with my body. So I did this horrible diet. I'm not even going to name it because I don't even want any of you to go out and find it. And I will talk about this in future. I, I know I've been saying for ages that I'll do a video about how I fix my relationship with food and I filmed it and everything and then I completely lost the footage. So it made me angry so I didn't film it again. But I promise I will film it again um, and put that out there. Yeah, I had just been on meal replacements because I thought, you know, I thought I wasn't beautiful. I thought I wasn't worthy. I thought to be happy, you needed to be thin. And it's so funny looking at this picture because I look at this and I think, wow, like you are small. Cause I'm quite a tall girl as well. I'm just quite a big person in general. So at that weight, like it's, it, it looks pretty slender in my opinion for me. Um, you know, cause I'm a, I'm a thick kind of gal. I remember at the time I still thought I was huge. And it's really funny because when you have issues with your body, even as far as body dysmorphia and things like that, you, you look at yourself, I look, uh, in that picture, I remember looking at myself and looking at myself the way I do now. Like I thought I was so much bigger. I'm like four dress sizes bigger now. And I, I looked at myself then the same way I look at myself now. Like I thought I was the size I am now. Do you know what I mean? Like I just thought, I didn't see my actual body when I looked in the mirror. All I saw was my thighs are big, my arms are big. I've got a tummy, I've got this, I've got that. I didn't just see me, I didn't know who I was because my entire self-worth basis was purely based on my body and how it looked because I thought, you know, that was the only thing in my head that was important and I thought everyone was looking at me and I thought everyone, you know, was constantly looking at each other's bodies and stuff like that. And it makes me really, it really genuinely makes me sad to think about that I thought who I am as a person, all the amazing things about me, you know, my personality, my, my kindness, my love, like everything that's, you know, all the redeeming qualities about myself, they didn't mean anything because my whole basis of my worth was my body and how thin I was. So that makes me sad to think about these times. I've got some more pictures from around this time too. Here's another one. Um, yeah, second year of uni. I was wearing like so much black um, to like hide my body. Um, yeah, again, same thing. I thought I was a lot bigger than I was. Here we are back again with the awful eyebrows. But this top was cute. When I was at uni, I would literally, on, I don't think I have a proper full length picture because I didn't take full length pictures of myself. There was only ever like, face pictures or pictures like in the club or whatever but what I would do when we went on a night out because we used to go out so much in the beginning of uni like first year of uni I would um I would wear a dress or whatever but under the dress like I remember there was this one outfit that I used to wear so it was like it was like a jumper dress um <laughs> it's like a jumper dress it was like grey um and I used to wear two pairs of tights like black tights underneath it, um, two pairs of tights, and then a pair of Spanx or like sucky in pants. Sometimes I would even go as far as wearing two pairs of Spanx, um, just from like Primark, but I would not, I would not go on a night out without wearing sucky in pants. I just wouldn't, like I just wouldn't. <sighs> God, and they were so uncomfortable. They used to roll down all the time. Like the amount of stuff I had on, like two pairs of tights, sucky in pants, then a dress, and then like, it was ridiculous. But I used to wear that and then a dress over the top. And then I would wear this turtleneck over the dress and put a belt around it. And 
it was just a lot. But I used to wear two pair under. I wouldn't wear my legs out. I would wear tights under every dress, which makes me so sad. Like, yeah, that does make me really sad that I used to think I had to do that. You can see it right here. Like, I just used to wear a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of black. Like, I'll put some pictures on the screen right now. So, like, here I've got, like, a jumpsuit on. But I didn't like, like, that my boobs were out. So, I put a turtleneck under the jumpsuit. Like, I always look good. Don't get me wrong. I styled it out. But you can just tell by the way I dressed that I was, like, insecure. But I think I wanted my, like, I didn't mind my silhouette being out. But I, had, I really, like, policed my body by wearing, like, spanks and all these pairs of tights to try and you know make myself look thinner or smaller whatever like this picture here so this dress this lace-up dress i bought this for my friend's birthday i think she was turning 20 or something like that and this was the first dress i wore in years that i didn't wear tights under it and i was so scared even though it was like a long dress like a midi dress this dress was beautiful as well. I think it was from Boohoo or Misguided, I can't remember. But I was so scared to wear this. But that was a good dress, it lasted me very well. And then, you know, after I did the whole diet thing and like, oh, I wasted so much money on that on that diet where I just, lit I literally had chocolate milk every day. I would, I remember, I remember vividly because I was in second year of uni and I was staying at my friend's house a lot like, and they were all there like eating and I'd be there having my chocolate milk. And it was like a carton this big. I would have three a day, three cartons of milkshake a day. And that was all I would eat. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. But I was so desperate because I thought, like I said before, you had to be thin to be happy. That's what I did. And I paid my student loan. I used to pay 60 pounds a week out of my student loan to this woman who, you know, I used to go every week and she used to weigh me and measure me give me my food and it's like this was a woman who was like 40 years old taking complete advantage of an insecure young person and it makes me mad to think about now it makes me so mad and like if i didn't lose weight or if i didn't lose inches she'd be like you've been cheating and this that and the other and it just completely fucked my relationship with food up because I, I just saw food then as the enemy. Do you know what I mean? And it's a lot to get over. Like, especially at that age when you're dealing with so much stuff. Like, socially. Like, you're growing up. You're learning about yourself. Relationships. All that kind of stuff. And I was still not satisfied. I still thought I'm absolutely huge. Like, I didn't. And everyone was telling me. Everyone around me was telling me. Oh my god, I mean, you've lost so much weight. This, that and the other. And I just didn't see it. I was just like, mm, yeah, okay. And that's the thing about weight loss. Like, I am not. Um, I am not against weight loss in any way, shape or form. And I think, I want to do a video about this as well, but in like the, the body posi positive community, like people think that if you lose weight, you don't love yourself, which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Like you can lose weight and still love yourself. Like I think you have to do whatever makes you happy. And like, it's not, it's not so much now to me anymore about, you know, we, you have to lose weight because I think if you tell yourself I have to lose weight because I want to look a certain way or I want to be a size 12 or I want to do this and that and the other, it doesn't work because the thing is the problem is in your mind. Your body was never the problem. The problem is your mind and how you treat yourself and if you want to fill yourself with healthy foods, if you want to be active, if you want the best for your body. And I feel like self-love, loving who you are comes with respecting yourself and respecting you know what you put in yourself how you treat yourself how you just go about your day-to-day -day life so i think there's a lot of people i know that lose weight and the insecurities they had before they lost weight are still there because they didn't tackle what was in their mind and the way they perceive themselves the way they speak to themselves the way they you know just perceive their body and how they think other people think about them and i think you have to tackle that before you lose weight or else when you lose weight you're still going to see yourself as the same person you were before. So it's a mental journey as much as it is like a physical journey as well. Yeah, so I stopped doing the whole diet thing. And in my final year of university, you know, I think there was someone that like really triggered me to learn to love who I was. I started seeing this guy and he, he just really like appreciated 
you know, finding a little bit more confidence within myself. I think seeing people on social media that kind of look like me, like around that time was when that Ashley Graham came out and all that stuff. And I feel like seeing her, even though like looking back now, like that is the most perfect, like um, stereotypical society's perfect version of like a plus size woman, you know, she don't really have like a tummy, she doesn't have rolls, she doesn't, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, I feel like just even seeing a bigger woman be celebrated and be seen as beautiful and desirable and be confident and show her body and love herself, that was so righteous to me. Like that, I'd never seen that in my life. I had never felt represented as a young girl by anyone that I saw. So representation is so important. Seeing people that look like you and being like, wow, she looks like me and she's so confident like maybe I can do it too. That is so fucking important. I can't even stress that enough. So I feel like just even seeing someone live as their authentic self made me feel better. So like that's when I started wearing more dresses like with my legs out. You can see in these pictures here. I feel like I was just more kind of confident to wear what I wanted to wear. I wore my first ever bikini like as an adult um, when I was on holiday like it was the little things like that, that like the little steps, like, and I was terrified. I was so scared to like do these things and wear these things and wear a bikini, I was terrified. But I just kept pushing myself out of my comfort zone because I, th I just, yeah, I, I didn't wanna hate myself anymore. I feel like I got sick of it. I felt like you get to a point where you're just like, I am sick of hating myself. Like I can't do this forever. I can't dislike my body forever, like I can't wear, long sleeves all summer and and jeans all summer forever like i just can't do it anymore i feel like you could start seeing you know through what i was wearing and being more expressive with my style like as you can see in these couple pictures and i remember this picture right here i feel like this picture really kicked off my whole self-love journey and it's in 2017 so it's, it's absolutely wild to me that this was only three years ago, looking where I am now and who the person I am today, it's crazy knowing how insecure I did feel back then and how I feel about myself now. I think I've made a massive, you know, I've made massive progression in such a short space of time. And if I can do it, it's a testament that honestly anyone can do it. And this picture here, I uploaded it and I was terrified to upload this picture because I had like my legs out. And now I look at that and I think, oh, whatever, that's just a fucking Monday night. But now, like back then, me wearing these little shorts and like showing my cellulite, showing my thighs, something that I was insecure about, it was just a lot. And that was a big radical self-love move for me to share that with the world. And I do feel like back then that I wasn't doing YouTube and all that back then. I did start in 2017, but it was the end of 2017. I feel like 2018 was a year like I really popped off. It makes me smile looking at this picture because, you know, it was the beginning for me of like where I am now and I've come a really long way. I, I often forget like how far I've come. So that's a little moment. Like I feel like through doing this online as well, through showing my journey, it made me feel empowered. It made me feel so empowered. Other people felt like they were cheering me on and I felt like I was learning to love myself with all you guys whilst I was being vulnerable and showing you guys. And it really meant a lot. Like I did this photo shoot where, you know, it was for a brand that does like nude, like different shades of nude clothing for every skin tone. And I, you know, I was around women who felt comfortable in their bodies and comfortable showing themselves. And I just felt so welcomed. And it was things like that, that just like little things pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I went on holiday later that year to Mexico. And again, I was wearing a bikini. Yeah, I just kept pushing myself, kept pushing myself out of my comfort zone. And I feel like that was really how I got to where I am now and how I felt more confident. So I hope you enjoyed this video, that's it. Um, and I hope like seeing my journey can help inspire you and make you guys feel better within yourselves and learn to love yourself because anyone is capable of it. Everything you think in your head, not everything is real that you think about yourself. So just know that and know that you got this and you can learn to love yourself. No matter how difficult it might seem, you just have to really want it for yourself. You have to really want to love yourself and gain confidence and let go of all the old toxic thought patterns, okay? So, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was funny. I hope it was insightful. And I'll see you very soon with a new video. Oh my days, can you just stop it? I'll see you soon with a new video. Love you guys very much. Bye.